Hello Aries, this is your mid-June 2019 reading. As you know, it may not resonate with everyone, so keep, please keep that in mind. But this is for Aries, those born under the zodiac sign of the Aries, for mid-June 2019. The new energy is coming in for Aries, mid-June 2019. Five card spread. Remember, Tarot is here to help, not to hinder. If you don't like the past shown, take a detour. If you do like it, embrace it. Don't sabotage it. But this is a reading that you can do something with. You have free will. Let's see what the incoming energies are for you. Taking control. Um, valor. Doing things right exceptionally well doing things exceptionally well getting you know um getting getting one up on on a situation seven of wands that's the coming in energy i have i shuffle these and i shuffle these but this is uh, uh in the past you had trouble moving on from something maybe some of you had trouble traveling maybe some of you had trouble moving maybe some of you had trouble moving on from a, a negative situation with the six of swords in reverse the obstacles speaking your truth maybe you're having trouble um communicating maybe the way you're coming across is awfully sharp or somebody else around you is doing this it's getting your truth out maybe you're having trouble doing so and remember i will be clarifying these and, and as i go on it the story does change up as i explain the cards current environment is the queen of wands this could be you in reverse feeling the uptight upset because of something that happened but you are getting on top of things that's the energy coming in so it's telling me you're getting on top of things and making things right within your own life from a situation that maybe you were having trouble moving on maybe communications were really harsh but this is a queen of wands in reverse and any any sign can get in reverse they don't have to be a horrible person they could maybe not feel them well maybe there's a, someone made them upset you know irritated them sometimes they can be mean but it's just not feeling themselves 100%. And the Queen of Wands, as you know, can most likely Aries, sometimes Leo, Sagittarius, depending on, you know, what definitions you use. But I find out it's a lot of times that it can be Aries. Outside influences or what is coming towards you, something's not completed or you don't feel like you completed a cycle possibly. We will clarify these. That's the Four of Wands in reverse. In the end, you feel like something is kind of hopeless, but that's a feeling. Let's find out what it is, because I know you're getting on top of things, but maybe you are getting on some, getting, um, taking a hold of something because of the situation you were going through, and you're going to getting on, you are going to succeed in that area. But the reason why you're you're doing all this is because you feel like a situation is hopeless. Let's find out what's going on now. Now. In the past, you got the Six of Swords. It is in reverse. You're feeling like you can't move on from something. Or, like I said, travels, whatever. You know, moving. So, Six of Swords in reverse. Why are you there for Aries in the past? You're wanting to complete something with the Four of Wands. But for some reason, you're unable to move on. You're wanting this completion now. So Six of Swords, Four of Wands, why are you there in the past for Aries? The Four of Wands is in the upright. So why are you there? You didn't like what was offered you. Someone offered you something, and you, you were kind of thinking about it. But you didn't like what was offered with the Four of Cups. So people say missed opportunities. Not necessarily. It's usually something offered to you that you may not like. It can be a missed opportunity, but it's... Not with this, I don't think so. But I'm thinking you didn't like what was offered. If you ever look at some of the other uh, images from other decks, um, like the rider, you know, wait, is someone offering someone a cup and they're going, eh, I don't know if I want that, you know? But it's not like they turn it away at that moment, you know? So, as an obstacle, Ace of Swords, this is someone speaking their truth, and it's an obstacle. Maybe you spoke it and it was harsh, or maybe someone spoke it with you and it was harsh, or maybe someone's having trouble speaking their truth in general. So, Ace of Swords in the upright as the obstacle for Aries. Why are you there? 
you were having hope or you were wanting hope, but I'm thinking because it's an obstacle and it's, even though it's in the upright, you're still feeling like there was a hopeless situation, even though you were aiming for that. Ace of Swords, the Star card, both in the upright as the obstacle. Why are you there for Aries? Yeah, and you're gonna you're you're having trouble seeing things clearly or getting your like I said messages across with the two of swords in reverse. Remember, it's an obstacle here. So when it's in reverse, you're having trouble possibly gaining that. Where you know setting boundaries, or you know seeing things clearly or taking off the blindfolds. Now, there's the current environment in mid June. You got the Queen of Wands, and she isn't, or he is, in reverse. Doesn't it? You know, it could be male or female. So, Queen of Wands in reverse. Why are you there for Aries as the current environment? Yeah, you're gonna. You're thinking about. It could be that some of you a situation try to resurrect in your life, and you don't want it to be with the death card in reverse you want to keep something gone that needs to stay gone so queen of wands of death in reverse while you're there it also could be something ended and it really upset you you know something that you wanted something that you wanted to bring back into your life for some of you but not necessarily it could be someone else feeling this way towards you these energies can flip to people that are watching about an aries so queen of wands death card both in reverse while you're there for aries as the current environment and making a final decision yeah you're gonna to have to make a final decision you will make a final decision on something but the outside environment of what is causing this or supporting this I should say is that something wasn't completed maybe you had to say your truth in something and you make you're gonna make a final decision so the four of wands in reverse why you there for Aries is what's supporting all this as the outside environment Maybe something, someone else didn't let something go when they should have. Now you got the Empress in the reverse. So there was no growth there. There was no growth in the situation. There was no blessings you felt. Or maybe, you know, whoever you're dealing with. But the Four of Wands and the Empress both in reverse. Why are you there for Aries as the outside source? Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or someone who wanted stability. Maybe this person is not feeling this growth with you. And I think it's some, maybe some sharp words were said, and someone's saying, this is just hopeless. Now, in the end, you got the star card in reverse, and I already told you what that was. Pretty much someone is feeling like the situation is hopeless. Let's find out why. The star card in reverse, why are you there for Aries? Queen of Swords couple people you're dealing with possibly or just another energy you know acting this way you know this energy queen of swords also has very sharp words and also gets agitated and when the queen of swords gets agitated um the words are very cutting and i always used to say hell have no fury like the queen of swords in reverse and it also could be that you are dealing with an air sign Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Some of you are maybe dealing with the Earth. Some are dealing with the air. Or maybe they have it both in their chart. Or you're dealing with more than one person. But you're thinking something is hopeless with the Queen of Swords situation. You feel like there's no growth, possibly. Or like I said, the Queen of Swords could be feeling this way about you. But it can be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So Queen of Swords, or the Star card, Queen of Swords, both in reverse. Why are you there? For Aries as the final outcome. Okay, so you're going to end something because okay, we had the death card. So we know something's going to go away that needs to for you. I'm thinking this could be friends, family, lovers, work. It doesn't matter. I don't see a lot of like love cards here. So it could be just people you're involved with. But in the end, you do end something that is negative and go on to something more positive with much ease. With the world card in the upright. You're thinking a situation is hopeless. Because this is it, the star card could have to do with the queen of, queen of swords. And therefore, you may end a cycle and start a new one, brand new, that's going to make you feel better. In the end, you got the knight of swords in reverse. Knight of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra again. They are in reverse. They're not happy with the situation with you. They don't feel like they got what they were supposed to get. And you may even feel that way also and feel like you didn't get what you were supposed to go for. 
You have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse who may have cost you a little bit in finances and you're going for your happily ever after because things aren't going to change unless you do. For the Two of Pentacles. And that is your reading. And I will upload this as soon as I can and I will talk to you later. Bye.